Hello students and welcome to this video. So this video is basically regarding the Oracle SQL developer download and how you can do that in uh, Mac OS. So this particular video is related to the same. So the very first thing that you need to do is, is go to Google and search for Oracle SQL developer download. Now, when you will search for it, Oracle SQL Developer Download, the very first link that is from Oracle, you have to click on that. As you can see, I've already visited this particular link. So that is why it is appearing into a different color. So just click on that. As soon as you are going to click on this, you will see a lot of options of this developer software. Okay, you can see this, right? So we have to focus on these ones. All right. So if you have a Mac OS that is running on the Intel processor, you can download this one. But if you have the Mac OS that is running on M1, M2, M3, you have to download this one. So when you're going to click on download, you will be able to see that a zip file is being downloaded. Okay, this is the zip file, SQL developer, and you can see R, and then we have the zip file. Okay. So you need to download this. Once this is downloaded, this is how it will look like. Okay. So what you can do is you can create a new folder and you can place this zip file inside that particular folder the way I have done this. So I've created a new folder with the name of SQL developer. And inside that particular folder, I have placed this uh, zip file that I've just downloaded. And then you don't need to do anything. Just, uh, just double click on this. As soon as you will double click on this, so the application that is included in this zip file will come out. And this will something uh, look like this. Okay. So SQL developer with the logo of SQL, you'll be able to see this. Okay. So just open it. First of all, it will ask you that either you want to open it or not. Okay. Just click on open. And uh, this is how your screen will look like. Of course, uh, you're not going to see this. Okay, so let me just uh, remove this. All right. So this is how your um, the home screen will look like. Okay. So then what you have to do is you have to click on this plus icon. Just click on this and you must be able to see the credentials which is provided by our team over canvas. Okay. So you can name this particular database as Oracle HR database that is DB. Okay. You can place this particular name here, Oracle HRDB. And uh, the username, password, and the host name is provided over Canvas. Okay. So you can have a look at there. And you need to fill those particular credentials here. Once you are filling those particular credentials here, you need to click on test. So in front of status, there must be success written. Okay. If you are putting the right credential and you are clicking on test in front of status, there will be success. Okay. Once that is done, you must be able to see something like this. Okay. If this is visible, Oracle HRDB, just go to file and just click on new. Okay. Then uh, inside the database uh, dial, we have the database files, which is the SQL file. Click OK. All right. You can name the SQL file. So I'm just um, writing HR data, hitting OK. Yes, I want to overwrite it. And here I need to perform uh, a simple query. So I'm performing select all from jobs. Okay, select the whole thing. Just click on this play icon. Okay, so this particular dialog box will appear that which particular connection you want to choose. Okay, you have to choose the same connection that you have created and just hit OK. All right. So as soon as you will hit OK. Right. Okay. So as soon as you will hit OK, this is how the result will look like. So if you are able to see these results, that means everything is working fine. And you have successfully downloaded, installed and set up the whole database. So this is all that you have to do. If you're facing any kind of issue, feel free to contact the team. Thank you everyone.